Hey there, my name is Allison. Welcome to The Tiny Herd, where we talk about everyday pet care for guinea pigs, rabbits, and other small pets. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about something very important that I do every single week with my pets that is pretty important to their overall health. And that is, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do guinea pig health checks. So health checks are really important to do because they can really clue you in on any illnesses or physical issues that your pets are having before they get to the point where it's like a major medical emergency, or it'll clue you in that you need to take your pet to the vet. So how do you do a health check? That's what I'm gonna show you today, but there's a couple things I wanna mention before we get into that. Before I get into showing you guys how to do health checks today, there's just a couple things I wanna mention first. How often should you do your health checks? I usually do mine on a weekly basis. You do wanna do them on a regular basis because this will enable you to see any trends or patterns or see if anything's getting better or worse. It'll also enable you to see if there are any fluctuations in weight. And this is important to check often because weight loss can be one of the very first signs that an illness or an issue is happening. The second thing I wanna mention is what you're actually going to need to do a health check. You really only need two things. First is a kitchen scale that measures in grams, and I will have a couple options linked down below for you guys to check out, including the one that I use. And you also will need some kind of notebook or just a pen and paper, but you wanna have somewhere where you can record your pet's weight every single time you do a health check so that you can keep track of any fluctuations and any changes. And then you can also just take any notes for anything you notice during the health check. The only other thing you need besides those two things is your guinea pig. And the last thing I wanna mention is a health check is obviously not a substitute for any type of vet care. This is really just a check to do on a regular basis to see if you need to be aware of something that your pet needs to go to the vet for, if there's an illness brewing or anything that you need to keep an eye on or treat. So just wanted to put that out there. It's just a good way to know if your pet needs medical care. So all that being said, let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do a health check with one of my guinea pigs. All right, so we're in the pet room now. All the guinea pigs are squeaking because they think it's dinner time and it's not. But to start off, I wanted to show you guys my scale that I use. So this is just a kitchen scale with a bowl on it. And again, I'll have it linked down below. But it does measure in grams, which is important because that's the easiest way to measure guinea pig weight. So we're gonna be using this today. The other thing I have here is my pet care binder or pet care notebook. I use this to log our weights and I did actually just set this up, which is why there's nothing written here. And I will link the video that I just did showing you guys this. So you can check that out as well, but I use this to record their weights so that I can see any changes from week to week. So now that we have our two tools here, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a piggy and we're gonna do a health check. All right guys, so I have Lily here with me. She's gonna be our model today. I'm distracting her with some lettuce, obviously at the moment. But I'm gonna explain to you guys how I normally do a health check. So Lily's gonna be our little model here. But the first thing that I usually do is I check just kind of their body. So when you do this on a regular basis, you'll be able to tell if their body feels different or weird or if there's any like bumps or bulges. And her body feels really good, it feels normal. She's kind of like a pear-shaped piggy, so her butt's a little wider than the rest of her and she looks normal that way. She's not bloated or anything like that. Then the next thing that I do is kind of just check like her condition. So I usually start with the fur and I'll kind of like spread it a little bit so you can see like, just kind of spread the fur so you can see the skin. Make sure you don't see any like fleas or bugs or anything like that. Make sure the skin doesn't look dry and scaly. Whatever color your piggy skin is, so like her skin back here is black, up here it's pink. If your piggy's brown, just whatever natural color your piggy is, just make sure it doesn't look red or scaly or discolored or anything like that. The next thing I do is check the eyes and the ears. So checking the eyes is really easy. Just take a look at them, make sure that you don't see any indications of an infection or a hay poke. So if there's any redness, if they're swollen, um, if it looks like there's something in their eye, if they're keeping their eyes shut, anything like that can be an indication of an injury or an illness. So just make sure they look good and also check for any like little crusties in the corner of their eye or if their eyes watering a lot, that can be an indication of an illness as well. So look for those types of things. And then to check the ears, what I do is just 
pull the ear flap back and take a look inside and you're really just making sure there's nothing out of the ordinary. Some guinea pigs have a little bit of earwax or gunk in their ears, but there's really nothing to worry about with that if it's something that's usually there. If your guinea pig's ears are normally really, really clean and all of a sudden they're having a whole bunch of stuff in their ears, that can be an indication of an illness as well. And then make sure there's nothing, like nothing in their ear, there's no hay or anything, that they don't have any indication of mites. And then, I like to check the back of their ears as well to make sure that they're not dry or crusty or anything like that. So that is the main things I do to check body condition. The other things you want to do are check your guinea pig's bum and belly area. So I'll show you guys how I do that. So usually I take the pig and I just hold it up a little bit. So you can see I don't have her on her back. I'm just holding her up just a little bit so I can see the underneath of her. I just take a look at her lady parts, make sure that nothing is swollen, there's no redness, there's no discharge, her butt's not super dirty, she doesn't have pee caked on her or anything like that. And then for female pigs, I do also like to check their nipples because crusty nipples can be an indication of ovarian cysts. She actually does have a little bit of crusty nipples, but she is a senior lady and that is just something that she has now. It's not an indication of anything, it's just because she's a little bit older. So that's really how I check the whole body. Make sure if you have long haired pigs that you cut out any mats that are on their butt. Check if they need a bum bath, anything like that. And then the last thing that I do is I check their teeth. And this might be hard to show you guys, but basically what I do is I put the pig in front of me and I lift, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see, but basically I lift two sides of their, their mouth. She's not gonna let me do it. I'll tell you guys the way that I normally do this. I normally lay the pig on my chest and then take my two thumbs and gently lift up on either side of the piggy's lips so that you can see their two front teeth. So she's not really gonna let me do it to where you guys can see it, but basically you just take either side of their lips and just lift up gently to where you can see their teeth. I'll see if I can get a clip, a better close-up clip to show you guys and insert it here as well. I'm gonna see if I can show you guys how I check her teeth. So normally, of course, she's eating right now. Normally what I do is I lift the pig up and then I gently lift either side. She's chewing right now, of course. No, nope, no. Nope. I need to look at your teeth, baby. So I gently lift the top lips until I can see her teeth, just like that. She's mad right now because she thinks I have a snack for her. But if you lay down on the floor or sit back in a chair a little bit, so that you can look down and put the pig on your chest and then just gently, very gently lift the corners of their mouth, their little lips, then you will be able to see their teeth. So that's how you do it. <laughs> it's pretty easy. Pigs don't necessarily like it, so you might have a little bit of trouble, but once they get used to doing it, generally you can do it pretty quickly and they'll let you and then you can move on. When you're looking at their teeth, you want to make sure that they are lining up properly. You don't want one of their teeth to be way longer than the others. Um, if they're out of alignment, then they're not going to wear down correctly, and that's something that you'll have to get trimmed down or talk to a vet about. So it's really important to check their teeth to make sure that there hasn't been anything weird going on. They can get abscesses in their mouths, or their teeth could, for some reason, start to be misaligned or you might not ever know they're misaligned until you check. So just make sure their teeth line up, their top teeth and their bottom teeth line up and just check for anything else weird that you can possibly see in their mouth. But that's all you really have to do for checking teeth. It's usually real quick for me. I usually just put her on my chest, lift up real quick to see the top and bottom, make sure they're good to go. And okay, so that's how I do a health check. Just check the body condition, check their skin and fur, check the ears, check the eyes, check the belly and the bum, and check the teeth. And then the very last thing, which is really important, is to weigh your piggy. So I have our scale here, you guys can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And then what you wanna do, if you have a basket on 
or a, if you have a bowl on your scale, make sure it says zero with the bowl on it because you don't want to be measuring the bowl, you want to be measuring just your pig. So once it says zero, you just take your pig and you set them down in the bowl and hopefully she'll hold still. Try to get them to hold still. Hey, hold still for me. Hey, hold still. All right, and her weight is 981. So I wrote that down in my pet care notebook, which I will link if you guys want to learn more about it, but that is where I track our weights so I can see if there are any fluctuations. If there are any big fluctuations in weight between week to week, then you want to get your piggy into the vet because that is one of the first indications of an illness. So you definitely want to get that checked out. One thing I also wanted to mention is make sure to weigh your piggy in grams because that is a lot easier to track than trying to use pounds or anything like that. It's just a lot more precise of a measurement when it comes to little piggy weights. There also isn't really a good indication of what is a good or bad weight for a guinea pig. They all have different body types and they all have different normal weights. So there's it's more of a body condition rather than an actual weight. So... Generally, you want your pig to be a little bit plump, but you don't, like, you don't want to see their bones, of course. You don't want them to be super, super skinny, but you don't want their belly to be dragging along the floor really badly or them have trouble walking or anything like that. So, guinea pigs generally end up regulating their body weight pretty well if they're eating a good diet. So you'll learn over time pretty quickly what a normal weight is for your piggy and it'll be easy to tell if there's any major fluctuations over a short period of time. So that is the quick and easy version of how I do a health check. The only other thing that I really do is whenever I'm doing these health checks, I'm also just keeping notes on things that I want to address. So for example, she needs a little bit of a bum bath and a haircut just because she does have some longer fur on her butt. So I'm gonna make a note of that so I remember. And then if anybody needs their nails clipped or anything like that, that's what I write down as well so I can remember to do that when I have the time. So that is really all I do for health checks. Once you get used to doing it, it's really quick and easy to do every week. And it's really important to keep up on the health of your pigs so that if there is an issue, you notice it right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Miss Lily Fluff back so that she's not confused why her health check is taking twice as long as it normally does, but she did very good being a model for us. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope it was informative and helped you get a better idea of how you can do a health check with your own guinea pigs. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I put up new videos every Tuesday and Friday. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.